coach, uh, go ahead and make an opening statement, then we'll open for questions. Well, disappointed in tonight's performance. Um, I give Purdue a lot of credit. I thought they played with a great edge and they played with great confidence. And uh, they shot it extremely well. Uh, but we had no real answer defensively, and we played poor on defense. And, uh, you know, really, to be honest with you, they could pretty much do what they wanted to do. Um, we had no answer. We couldn't really get it, other than maybe one stretch with about the last eight minutes of the first half where I thought our ball pressure got up. We created some deflections, started to get back in the game that way. But uh, for a good portion of this game, our offense scored. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, we just could not get stops. And uh, they made shots. They made a lot of them. And, um, you know, we didn't deserve to win the game, you know. So we're going to have to take this one and eat it. And um, it hurts. Um, disappointed in the performance. It's on me. Um, and we're going to have to go back to work. And um, we don't have that game sort of hanging right in front of us to get back on Sunday, which sometimes is the best answer. But I think for our team right now, we need to go back to work a little bit. And we're going to have to figure some things out defensively because if we don't have that in check, um, we're going to be in big trouble here moving forward. And um, you know, our next opponent, I guess, would be Iowa. So we're going to have to be a lot better there. John Blount. They started out a 7 of 9 from three-point range in the first half. I mean, um, what was the failure there defensively? Do you feel like just not enough pressure on the ball or just not getting out on shooters? What would you say was the problem? You know, without really watching it and not, not having it, I mean, uh, they were too comfortable. Um, and they made them. And once they get off to a good start, um, you know, the bottom line is they played with great confidence the rest of the game. They played easy. Um, but I thought we had some real breakdowns on underneath out of bounds or underneath out of bounds defense. I thought they did a great job of picking on us a little bit there. They created, I think, six to nine points right away uh, on that sort of special teams area, which has been good to us. Um, so they did a good job there. Um, but they also, you know, got free and made them. And um, I give them credit, you know, coming into the game, they weren't shooting the ball particularly well from a lot of guys, but they're all capable and they've been capable in their career. So once they got confident, they got going the seven for nine from three. And then I think even midway through the second half, the three point line was still, they were shooting an incredible percentage. And, you know, to be honest with you, as you really look at it here recently, the three point line's really been something that we've struggled to guard since we've gotten in January. Dustin. Marcia, I guess, um... As far as Armand was concerned, I guess, when did you guys know that he was definitely going to be available? Did you expect him to be able to play that much? And just how did you just evaluate uh, his game playing, obviously, through some pain tonight? I didn't know what he'd be able to really do, to be honest with you. He practiced a little bit yesterday, and then he went through game day shoot around today. Um, he was cleared to go. Um, and I asked him, you know, basically before the game um, how he felt. He said he felt good. So I'm sure he'll be sore tomorrow. Uh, he played a lot of minutes tonight. Um, I thought he was very aggressive. Clearly, his first game back, he didn't shoot it particularly well from the outside. But, you know, he was aggressive at seven defensive rebounds and three steals. Thought he made some good things happen. It's good to have him back. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, he, he and Rob both coming into the game were a little bit shaky. And I didn't think Rob, um, you know, to be honest with you, really had a, had a lot in him, you know, coming off the Nebraska the game where he sprained his knee. So, but that's, those two things had nothing to do with the game. Both guys were available and ready to go. And, uh, you know, hopefully with the game not being Sunday, you know, we can take some time here and maybe get a little bit more recovery because, you know, clearly we need it because our effort level tonight wasn't as good as it, it needed to be. Tom? Tom? You got uh, from 12 down uh, back, back to close with uh, Trace on the bench there early in the first half. What would you like about what you were doing there? Uh, and then, of course, you had a six-minute stretch without a field goal at all in the second half. What went wrong? That stretch. I mean, our stretch in the first half, guys, the, the group that was in there played extremely hard. You know, Ray Thompson, I thought, gave amazing effort all game long. He did his best. He's undersized in there a little bit. But I thought Race gave great effort. It wasn't as easy for him. And then our ball pressure really picked up. We had a bunch of deflections, and we were able to score the ball. A couple big shots at the end of the half. Jerome made a three. And we were able to kind of cut into it and be right there. And then, you know, I think the first four to eight minutes, especially in the second half, um, offensively, we were fine. You know, they they, they – they didn't give us much problems around the rim. We were able to score, but we just could not get stops. And um, this team has to be able to get some stops. It has to be able to find a way to play, you know, defensively very tough-minded. It's got to find a way to have its defense as something it can rely on because offense is hard. You know, sometimes you're not going to shoot the ball well. We shot three for 18 from three. They shot 11 for 17 from three. They went 20 for 31 from the line. We went 16 and 29. We missed 
14 free throws, a few pairs, and went three for 18 from three. Didn't shoot the ball well, so your defense is really going to have to be good. And uh, tonight it wasn't, and that's what happens in this league if you don't have that side of the ball in check. Last question, Zach. I guess, Archie, just look going forward, you talked about now having this week off. It's not expected. Just how do you anticipate kind of handling this when – I know everybody knows you have to be sort of fluid and flexible in a season like this, but how do you map out the next few days when you know that maybe a game's falling off? You know, I don't know. This is the first time all season long we've been put in a situation where we're going to have a, you know, some type of a, a disruption in the schedule. We've been pretty smooth all the way through. Um, we don't have another game scheduled, I guess, until Iowa next Thursday. So this will be the first time all season that our guys would, would look and say there's a week in between the games, I think, that they're not in school. Um, you know, I think that every team, I can't speak for every coach, but every team right now um, is going through it. I mean, it's, it's a mental grind. There's been very few uh, times off, uh, the testing, the practices, the games. We had three games in seven days last week. We were getting ready to do three more in six days next week. Uh, so it comes at a time when, you know, really, uh, to me, I look at it and say, number one, we have a couple guys that are banged up. We have a couple guys playing too many minutes. Let's make sure that we're smart with them. But at the same time, we have a few extra days here to maybe lock in and try to improve on a few things defensively. I think that's a big concern right now. Can't lose that defense. And um, we can't lose the ability to hang in there with our defense. Offensively, we're going to have to shoot the ball a little better. And we're going to have to make some more free throws. Because I think if you look at our field goal percentage minus the three and the free throws, we probably scored it around the two-point two point area pretty good, which you know typically produce really good at defending the two. But um, you know, we got a lot to work on, you know, and at the end of the day in this league, uh, one loss feels monumental just because of, of the grind that you're on. One win feels great, but like there's a lot more coming and uh, we have to be better and we have to be ready. All right, Coach, thank you. Thank you.